Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Yes, boys and girls, that was a Tiger King reference. I had to see what the rest of America was watching and I gotta tell you, that was weird and that's a whole bunch of hours I am never going to get back. I don't have the benefit of Mr. Jones's teleprompter so I'm gonna use my notes right here, boys and girls. First off, I wanna talk about how impressed I am with your ability to transition to online learning. The more that I've been working online, the easier it's getting for me. However, boys and girls, I really have to work at it. I have kept my routine and I recommend that you do the same. I get up each morning, I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I put on work clothes. Yes, indeed, I get out of my pajamas, but if the truth is going to be told, I'm not wearing shoes anymore, boys and girls. I'm strictly into the sandals. I have designated a few areas at home where I complete my work. In the morning, I get up and I sit at the kitchen counter and I go through my emails in the morning. But when my wife gets up, I transition over to the office and I do my work at the desk. Um, I also have a very comfortable chair that I have in there when I'm doing my Zoom meetings because I like to have a plain background behind me. Um, right now, boys and girls, you are working asynchronistically. What that means is that the teachers are dropping their lessons at 8 o'clock in the morning on their designated days, and then you go in to do your coursework on your own time at any time. And that can be a little bit dangerous. The more time that you procrastinate, the more procrastinating you can do. And so I highly recommend that you get up, you get that work done, you fall into that routine, and you don't let the work pile up on you. So um, I want to know, what are you doing to stay into the school groove? What does your workspace look like? This week, I'm offering a $25 Amazon gift card to the student who submits the best workplace photo on the Mojave Feel Good Friday blog. So what I want you to do is to go to the Mojave website, scroll down to the blog, follow the links to the weekly challenge where you will find pictures that Mrs. Formonic has posted of makeshift home offices. Email your picture to Mrs. Formonic and I will do the same. Her email address, by the way, is posted on the challenge page and please note it is going to a Gmail account. When she posts the photos, Ms. Tyndall and I are going to confer and we're going to pick the best one and then I'll mail the gift card out to the winner. Good luck to you for doing that. Hey, did you know that you can still order a yearbook? And I have to tell you, this is a year to remember. The link is on the Mojave main website. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and pass those out in May. We don't exactly know what that's gonna look like. It very well could be handing them out to you through the car window in a drive up fashion. Or if social distancing requirements have been lessened, we may be able to invite you into the gymnasium or something of that sort. Hang tight, don't panic. The results or the details for all that will come out soon. And the same is true for turning in your library books, your choir dresses, your sports uniforms, rented music instruments, and anything else that belongs to Mojave. We're working out the details on how you'll get all that stuff in. For now, just make sure that you know where all of the school belongings are. Maybe put them all in a pile inside of your bedroom closet so that way you know where they are and they'll be easy for you to find when it's time to turn Mojave stuff back into Mojave. Boys and girls, Miss Tyndall and I, uh, we miss you terribly. We miss seeing you in the lunchroom each and every day. We miss seeing you play kickball, four square, and it's socializing with your friends. Most of all, we miss walking the hallways, going into the classrooms, and seeing what you guys are doing, the teaching and the learning that happens each and every day. Boys and girls, we will um, have another installment of weekly announcements next week. Until then, we look forward to seeing your photos on the Feel Good Friday blog. Until then, wash your hands, don't touch your face, stay safe, and stay mighty Mojave.